In English, Ikawa and Inca means coffee and cows. But for families in Rwanda, it means so much more. After families are growing enough food to survive, coffee enables them to thrive. By selling their coffee beans, families can earn money to send their children to school, make household repairs, and buy essentials such as soap and clothes. The Coffee and Cows project started in July 2017 in the Nairaguru districts and was scaled up the following year to the Nyanza and Bugasira districts, supporting 30,000 people. Since then, families have been learning to improve the quality and quantity of coffee that they produce. They started by visiting demonstration farms to see a variety of methods being put into practice. Members were given pruning machines and spraying pumps to help them look after and improve the quality of their coffee plants. In May 2019, we met Claire, who had been a project member since 2017. Claire owns 320 coffee plants and has seen a dramatic increase in production. <laughs> A key focus of the project has been around gender equality. Many of the project members are widows who are marginalised within their communities. Genevieve is a genocide survivor who told us how her life had changed since joining the project in 2017. <laughs> Mamma, <laughs> Senecao coffee farmers are working with local coffee cooperatives. The cooperatives advise farmers on management of coffee, especially during harvesting, to ensure coffee beans are of the quality required by the coffee washing stations. Thank you.